Hello and welcome to Simple Security. For today I'm going to cover TCP Dump. TCP Dump is a very powerful command line interface packet sniffer. So in order to use it, we need to first install it. Right here is the command that you use to install it on Kali Linux. So open up a terminal, type apt minus get install TCP Dump. When you're ready, hit enter. So I already have it installed on my computer. So uh, for you, if you don't have it installed, you're going to see a bunch of um, bunch of text. Just uh, follow the instructions; they're very easy, and you'll have it set up as well. Now then, let's use the tcp dump uh, minus capital D command. This will show us all our available interfaces. We're going to be using the uh, number one, Ethernet zero. So let me show you how to capture IP address packets. Type in TCP dump minus N space minus I for the interface. And we're going to use Ethernet zero. So as you can see, the following logs are generated in our Linux uh, machine. All right, to stop it, just control C. To clear it, type clear. Okay, now let's cover how to capture only TCP packets. So we want to filter our traffic that we're sniffing and only capture TCP. So to do that, TCP dump minus I interface zero, or the interface you want, Ethernet zero, and specify the, the type, so TCP. Let me just make sure that uh, TCP is being used so that we can see the traffic. OK, there we go. So you can see the following lock generated again on our machine. To stop it, control C. Notice it already collected 196 packets that, that quick. All right, go ahead and clear it. Now let's cover how to capture packets from a, sp a specific port. To do that, type in TCP dump. Again, Ethernet 0. And this time, we'll specify the port by typing port. And let's do port 80, the standard HTTP. So right now, it's sniffing traffic. Um, only on port 80. All right, to stop it, control C, clear it. All right, let's uh, cover how to capture and save packets into a file. So to do that, let's do TCP dump space minus w and we'll call this uh, capture one dot pcap and let's specify the interface ethernet zero okay let's check our syntax okay everything looks good enter so right now it's capturing um, all the traffic, and it's writing it into a PCAP uh, file called Capture One. All right, I think that should be enough. Let's hold, go ahead and uh, cancel it. So Control C. All right, we got 104 packets. All right, let's go ahead and read that file. 
through in the in the terminal. So TCP dump minus R, and then it was called capture one dot pcap. Okay. Hit enter. Okay, there we go. Let's say you wanna let's say you wanna read it, but not in the uh, terminal. You wanna read it in Wireshark. So to do that, let's first uh, make sure. Let's, let's check out what directory we're working in here. Okay, we're in root. There's a file there. The file is there. Okay, capture one. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Wireshark. Just type Wireshark. Disregard this. Just hit OK. Click on Open. Navigate to the root directory. Click on capture1.pcap. Open. And there you have it. So here you can view your traffic, such as the, uh, the source, the destination, the protocol, and some information on it. This will give you a more detailed breakdown of the protocols inside. But yeah, this uh, this is probably more organized, easier to read than through the terminal. So that's uh, at your discretion how you want to go about that. Now then, let's say you want to um, capture packet from another computer, as in you want to perform a packet sniff, packet sniffing on a on a remote computer. So to do that, let's first open up our Windows 7 operating system. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and use ipconfig to find its IP address. Here we have the IPv4 address, 10.0.0.12. And let's go back and let's look at our IP address here, which is 10.0.0.14. Okay, let's uh, ping each, works, uh, each workstation, each computer, to make sure that they can communicate with each other. Okay, that checks out. 16 sent, 16 received, zero loss. Four sent, four received, zero loss. Okay, we're good. Now then, to capture packet on the Windows 7 from the Linux workstation, you want to type in the following. TCP dump. And then minus s for snatlin zero host and the target PC which is going to be the ten dot zero dot zero dot twelve the interface Ethernet zero and we won't specify a port we'll just do all the ports and we'll do we'll write it and we'll call this capture2.pcap. All right, let's verify our syntax. Everything looks like it's checked out. OK, hit Enter. All right, right now it's currently listening on Ethernet 0 on this targeted IP address. But let's make sure that that IP address is generating traffic. So we will open up a bunch of browsers and just run some random things.
All right, let's go ahead and stop our collection. Control C. All right, we have five packets received from that. So in this case, because our, of our filter that we had put in, uh, it's going to need more time. But perhaps we could see something uh, with with the five packets that we received. Let's, let's see if we can view anything. So let's see. Let's double check. OK, again, TCP dump minus R for a read and capture 2.pcap. All right, there we go. Got a little bit. And again, if you want to open that in Wireshark, just type Wireshark, navigate to the directory where it's at, and load it. And you can view it, and that's pretty much it. Well, uh, that's pretty much all I want to show you for TCP dump. There's a lot more to it, but this is very basic, and this just gives you, you know, just an idea of how you can use it for to perform packet sniffing. And so, yeah, give it a shot. Try out some of the commands that I showed you. Play around with it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, and have a good day.